Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports from that News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick prediction of today's games in the NHL as we go over the four games that are taking place today. First and foremost, we start with the hot Vegas Golden Knights against the New York Islanders. The Golden Knights are seven and three on a four-game winning streak, where in their last ten, where the New York Islanders are three, four, and three. And won their last game. I feel like this game, <clears throat> with the way that Vegas is playing and has really started turning it on lately, even though it is in New York, in the Isle Stadium, I feel like this game is going to go to the Vegas Golden Knights. As we preview the lineups, the Knights are going to have Eichel, obviously, is out, Martinez, Patrick, um, Adam Brooks, Michael Amadio, and Ben Hudden are projected to be scratched. Max Pacioretty, Stevenson Stone, Jonathan Marchessault, William Carlson, Riley Smith, Jan Mark, Roy, and Dadanoff, Carrier Howden, and Keegan Colasar on first to third line from left wing to right wing in that order. Nicholas Hag, Petrangelo, McNabb, White Cloud, Theodore Coglin, and then it looks like Robin Leonard's going to get the start. Objective liner for the Isles is Lee. Paggio, Wallstrom, Bavillier, Nelson, Bailey, Bellows, Zarnick, Parise, Martin, Zizekas, and Clutterbuck. And then you have Pellick with Mayfield, Chara with Dobson, and then Salo with Green, where it looks like Sorokin's going to start. And then you have Ross Johnson, Sebastian Ajo, um, out, scratched, and then Kyle Palmieri and Pulik, and then Matthew Barzal on COVID protocol, <coughs> which also is a big factor in why picking the Vegas Golden Knights in this game. Then when we go on to the St. Louis Blues versus the Winnipeg Jets, uh, this is a much tougher game to pick. The Blues are 7-1-2 and two in their last 10 with a win two. The Winnipeg Jets uh, have lost two in a row, but obviously have been an epitome of inconsistency this year. So their games are really hard to pick, in other words. And they're also at home. But with the Blues being the more consistent bunch, I'm going to have to roll with the St. Louis Blues in this one. Like I said, they've been better of late, so I'm going to have to just roll with them in this one and think Budnevich, Barbas, Seven, Tarasenko, one of the better second lines in hockey, if not the best, is just going to keep cruising as well as O'Reilly and others. Nathan Walker, four goals in five games, a hell of a call-up for that kid and getting it going for his career there in the Blues organization. But, yeah, sticking with the Blues... Uh, for that one, <clears throat> as we'll preview the lineups real quick, for the Blues, it's Sad, uh, O'Reilly, Brown, who's Nevich, Barbashev, Tarasenko, uh, Nathan Walker with Tyler Bozak, since they're playing short, so whoever they end up putting on that line, um, Torpachenko, jo Joshua, and Pekka, and then Mikola, Poranko, Krug, Falk, Scandella, Bertuzzo, with Charlie Lindgren, it looks like getting the start, who's been hot as hell, 5-0, and oh, Coming up, he's been absolutely ridiculous um, since coming up with the St. Louis Blues. 9.58 save percentage, 122 goals against. So that's not going to be easy. They have Perron, Thomas, Huso, Wallman, Cairo, Neal, and Shen all out on the injury report. And then COVID-19 protocols, Oscar Sundquist. Uh, for the Jets, they have... As their projected lines, well, that, that's not loading, so I'm not going to be able to give the Jets projected lines since it is not loading, unless if I can pull it up on here real quick. Do, 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 do. For the Jets, here we go. They got Paul Statsny, Mark Shifley, Nikolai Ewers, Kyle Connor, Pierre-Luc Dubois, Christian Visalainen, and Kopp. Lowry, Tone, and Otto. So they have a lot of guys that are playing up than you would expect. Harkin sees a Zeus playing his first game, as well as Christian Rochelle uh, playing his first game. And then you have Morrissey and potentially Schmidt, because um, it says illness unknown day to day, but it has them listed in for now. Uh, then, so if not, you probably have Belayu play, Dylan and Pionk, Stanley and DeMello. And then <clears throat> I would think. Connor Hellbuck would be the starting goalie, but I would still roll with the Blues in that one. Uh, when it comes to the nightcap, we have for one of the games, Pittsburgh and New Jersey. Um, this one is going to be the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Pittsburgh Penguins have been playing well of late. Uh, all they have out, <clears throat> and, and also 
They also almost have Malkin back. Gensel is out. Brian Russ is out. They have key players out, but they keep finding a will and a way. So I think the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to continue to do that. They got Rodriguez, Crosby, Kappen, and Zucker, Carter, Dan Heineen, Zach Anton, Reese, Teddy Bluger, Brock McGinn, Drew O'Connor, Sam Lafferty, and Dominic Simone. And it's Brian Dumoulin, Latang, Marcus Peterson, John Marino, Mike Matheson, Chad Ruedel with Tristan Yari getting the start. Zaka Hughes, Tatar for the Devils, Andres Johnson, Dorsen Mercer, Marion Studenik. And then you have Yanni Kukunen, Yeager, Sharon Govis, Jimmy VC out of Harvard. And then you have Michael McLeod, Nathan Bastion, Ty Smith, Dougie Hamilton, Jonas uh, Siegenthaler, and Damon Severson, second deep pair. And then Kevin Ball, the big kid. And then Mason Ghoston. Um, <clears throat> well, that's a big line. A 6-6 Kevin Ball and a 6-4 Mason Gersten. Don't mess with that defensive line. And then John Gillies is going to be getting the start, it looks like, since Akira Schmid just doesn't really have the experience yet, where he looks like he could be a solid goalie, giving him time with Utica, but just doesn't have the experience yet. They have Heesher, Graves, Yoros, Subban, and Jesper Goquist on COVID protocols, which is a huge factor, plus Wood, uh, Thompson, Bernier, and Blackwood all out. So that's a huge factor in why I say the Penguins are going to win this one as well. Uh, when it comes to the Washington Capitals and <clears throat> Los Angeles Kings, I would have to go with the Washington Capitals at home on this one. The Caps have been uh, rolling this season. Unfortunately, uh, TJ Oshie was added to COVID protocols earlier today, so he will not be able to go. So it has it as... Joe Snively will be moved up to the second line in his first game. Uh, Protus and then Sheary make up that second line. First line is Ovechkin, Eller, Sprong, Haglund, Scarbosa, Leeson, um, Connor McMichael, <clears throat> who's very talented, just 20 years old, probably could use a little bit more seasoning in the AHL, Nick Dowd, and Beck Melenston, Morton Firavori, and John Carlson, first defensive line, Dimitri Olaf, Nick Jensen, and then Trevor Van Riemsdyk, Justin Schultz. And then we'll have to see who they decide out of Banachek and um, <clears throat> Sam Sonoff out there. And then when it comes to the Kings, <clears throat> they have, as their lineup for today, Kempe, Kopitar, Brown, I have followed to know Arvidsson, Grundstrom, Kupari, Moore, Lemieux, Lazat, who's actually been playing pretty well of late, and Kaliev, a uh, Christian Rowe lining on the first line defense, uh, Michael Anderson, Olimata, Matt Roy. And then you got Tobias Bjornfurt and Sean Dursey, and then you have either Quick or Garrett Sparks starting uh, since Cal Pedersen is on protocol, as well as Drew Doughty's on protocol, which I'm surprised more of Laurie doesn't go in over Wolanin, who's playing okay, but he's more of just a depth defense, and you might as well see what the kid can do. Um, but either way, um, I feel like this is going to go to the Washington Capitals. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick, well, about not that quick, eight minutes, but this video preview of the games for today where we give projections and predictions and give the lines for the games that are taking place today. Have a great day, everybody, and enjoy the hockey.